Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm back to talk to you about the M2M MN02-LTE and its connection into the GE Concord 4 panel. Uh, super easy to do. Uh, it's only going to be four wires. Uh, we're going to be using the red, the black, the green, and the yellow wires. The other two, which is orange and white, in this case can be peeled back because they are not going to be used. So you can tie them off or tape them off or cut them. Uh, whatever you'd like to do, just make sure that there's nothing exposed and in the way on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap these just to get them out of the way, but you need to cut them or throw some tape over them if you're not going to be using key switch, which uh, if you have questions about that, give us a call. We can definitely get you walk through that. Um, now, this uh, is the actual M2M device. Uh, it's got its antenna already connected to it. I went ahead and did that beforehand. You want to make sure to mount that outside of the box somewhere. So it's got a magnet on it, pretty nice, so it connects. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll get this thing connected. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get our connection separated. So as I said, yellow and green are going to be used for communications specifically. So we're going to put those over here. And then we have the red and black wire, which is going to be for power. So we'll go ahead and get the red and, and black wire in first. Now, prior to doing this, you need to make sure that your GE Concord 4 panel is completely powered down. You're going to unplug the backup battery and you're also going to unplug the power supply. Once you do that, uh, just confirm that it's completely powered down by checking your keypads and verifying that the keypads are also dead. Um, but um, once you have a dead panel, we'll go ahead and we'll get this wired in. So the first connection we're going to make is going to be the ground connection, which is going to be the black wire here. And that is going to go to terminal number three, like so. Once you get that in there, go ahead and get that screwed in place and tightened up. There's probably going to be other wires in there, so just put this in there along with it because those wires are using this ground for something. So The next wire we're going to do is the red wire. That is going to be for positive power, so we're going to wire that into terminal number four, which will also have wires in it. Uh, get this tightened down and in place along with that. Once you've done that, then this thing is wired for power and ready to go on that. Uh, now the next two connections we're going to make are going to be the yellow and green wire which are going to be for tip and ring respectively and as you can see it's already labeled on there. So what we're going to do is we are going to go with the green wire to terminal 28 which is ring. Get that tightened in place. And then you're going to get the yellow wire and you're going to take that to terminal number 25 and you're going to get that tightened in place. Now if terminal 25, 26, 27, and 28 on the Concord 4 panel, if they have any wires in there, you need to get them out of there because this is the only two wires that need to be in these slots here to the far right. Uh, the reason being this is the communications uh, for, for phone line. So anything in terminals 25, 26, 27, and 28 that doesn't belong to the M2M unit needs to be taken out. Um, once you have these connections made, you're good to go ahead and get your system powered back on and then give us a call for activation of this M2M MN02 LTE device. Make um, sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.